Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm going to be doing a... I've been looking up some new spreads to do, and I actually did find a few new ones that I want to do. Um, so... <coughs> There's a daily energy one that's three cards, and it's like what um, you need to be aware of, and what to remember, and what to let go of. So, we, <coughs> excuse me, we'll start with the fire signs today, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So, what does Sagittarius need to be aware of? What do they need to remember? What do they need to let go of? Sagittarius. What do they need to be aware of? What do they need to remember? What do they need to let go of? Hope everyone's having a good day. Hi. I'm drinking some coffee. Hopefully I can wake up here. <laughs> Put some job applications in today. I haven't done this shit because I literally I worked at that job that I just had for like five years and they were on bullshit but I stayed because I cared about the clients and so now I'm like starting all over. I forgot what it's like to have to go redo a resume and like apply to shit. But it's pretty crazy. Sagittarius. All right, let's see what the cards have to say for you today. All right, for what you need to be aware of, you have the Ace of Wands. What you need to remember is you have the Queen of Wands. And what you need to let go of is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So I think basically what you need to be aware of is that there's something new coming in for you. There's maybe a new job, new romance, some kind of something that you can create, okay? Um, what to remember is that the Queen of Wands, I mean, this is your energy. The, the, the Queen of Wands gets whatever she wants. So I basically, I feel like what you need to remember is that you can get whatever you want. You just have to go get it because you know what you want and you are you can go get it, you know? Nobody really says no to the Queen of Wands, let's be honest. Um, what you need to let go of, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So I think you need to let go of all those thoughts that you have in your head about maybe a job or whatever you're really hard on yourself about in your head. That's what you need to let go of. Because you do have something new coming in. Um, somebody might have walked away from an abusive situation. Maybe that's why you're in your head. But and maybe that's what you need to let go of as well. Is that maybe there's someone that you do need to let go of in your life. King of Cups, Two of Cups in reverse, and the Temperance in reverse. So there probably is a water sign for some of you. Maybe just someone that you were dealing with that you broke up with and because it was really unbalanced um, maybe that is something you need to let go of as well <clears throat> so moving on to Aries what does Aries need to be aware of What do they need to remember? What do they need to let go of? For the sign of Aries. Alright, you have 
the five of swords so what you need to be aware of is that you have some rivalry um some people around you there's some sneaky people around you there might be some kind of theft or violent there's something going on uh that you need to pay attention to and i think that it is um it's drama for real but it's it's a uh, There's some sneaky shit going on. Um, what you need to remember, you have the Nine of Wands in reverse. So I think what you need to remember is that um, you need to have a little bit of faith in yourself if you want something to go your way. Um, and I think that... You know, I think you're the one that's kind of holding yourself back with this. And maybe there's some other things going on, but I think that you need to have a little bit more faith in yourself. And what you need to let go of is whoever um, is causing you this depression. Maybe there was some type of loss or heartbreak. The universe is telling you that's what you need to let go of. And that's probably what's holding you back. The bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. So the King of Wands goes and gets whatever he wants. He, this is like you standing full in your power and it's just like maybe there's a decision that you need to make but at the same time this is all about truth and you know going in and getting you know because the king of wands is a charmer they get what they want you know and I feel like that's what you need to be aware of is that you you can move forward with this um so now we have oh, it's Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. What does the sign of Leo need to be aware of? What do they need to remember? What do they need to let go of? It's like kind of warming up here, but ugh. I'm just really glad that I have a fucking hoodie. Okay, so your cards popped out right away. You have the Hermit in reverse. You have the Nine of Cups and you have the Sun card. So I think that what you need to be aware of is that you're kind of keeping yourself in isolation. You kind of feel like you know, you're living in the past. Um, maybe there's a Virgo in your life that. um is doing this or whatever the case may be but the hermit is someone who's like kind of um searching for an answer but in reverse I, they're not searching for anything they're just kind of stuck and I think that's what you need to be aware of is that you're keeping yourself in this isolation what you need to remember is that you do have things that have the potential to make you really happy you do have abundance and wishes coming true um, in your life, maybe with a water sign or just maybe in general. You're in the fruition stage of something really good in your life. What you need to let go of is the sun card. And I think that... I don't know why that would be something you need to let go of. So I'm going to need to clarify. Clarify the sun card as something Leo needs to let go of. But I feel like in this... Um, In the card, the the guy is kind of like looking up at something, like kind of pay, not really paying attention to where he's going or anything, you know? So I feel like maybe there, you want this happiness so bad and like just to be reassured about something and like this enlightenment, but at the same time, you're avoiding something. You aren't really letting things fall. Um, this kind of is an oppression situation um, for whatever reason. The Tower card, I think, yeah, because you're kind of depressed. You might be dealing with an Aquarius, but there's depression that surrounds this. And I think that I would just stop avoiding whatever it is and this depression. I would get rid of this stuff in your life so that you can get to this... Um, this new level of happiness because something makes you really happy 
in your life. And this is like the ultimate happiness, but it starts with yourself. And that's the main thing to remember. You do have some things, maybe there's a breakup or something. This might be what's causing you the depression and stuff in your life. But what you need to remember is that you have something new coming in and something that's going to be like moving forward. And the world card is all about um, completing something. It's about accomplishment and you're there. So I think that's what you need to remember. So I will, um, I think I'm going to do a separate video for, um, we'll probably do air signs next, but I hope everyone has a really good day.